In this video we're looking at Microsoft's Planner app. So as you open the app, in the top right hand corner you can click on the plus and that will allow you to create a new plan. Once you're into your plan, you get an idea of what Microsoft Planner is all about. It's a to-do list app in essence, but it's much more than that. We all lead such busy lives now uh, and it's great to be able to keep on top of, of what you're doing and to organise yourself. Also, what I like about this to-do list, as with many others, is there's a collaborative feature, so you can add additional collaborators to it. And that's great if you're a teacher and you're working across multiple sites with others who teach a similar subject to you, you can exchange ideas and work through the planning and the organisation of a course. So I'll come on to some ideas on how it can be used in a moment. So we've gone in, I've opened up my James to-do list and then within that I can look at the members I can also look at the plan settings so I can click on there and I can I can edit the name if I wish each of the columns is referred to as buckets and I can add a new bucket there and then when I dive in I can see the title, I can assign it to a particular member, a co staff, a colleague, I can alter its status, not started in progress or complete, I can add a checklist, and this is really useful because sometimes when you've got quite a complex task, it's a great way to be able to capture all of the different components required as part of that task and it also just gives you a sense of achievement that you may not have completed the whole task but you are making progress. You can also add attachments so you can add a file there we are. so you can take a photo choose something from your library choose a file or a link so that's useful now come on how we can use that in a moment you can set start and end dates and you can also tag things as labels and then you can search for those labels. What's nice about it also is you can move stuff between your buckets. So I can move it, if I click on it, oh. if I click and hold I can drag it between lists. Click and hold and drag it between lists. I can also click and hold and drag it down as well. You can see the labels that I mentioned earlier, they appear with a colour icon there. So how could you use it? Well, I think a great way to use it, and the way I've used it in the past, is it's a great way to plan uh, a scheme of learning. You can have your weeks as your buckets across the top, your tasks, and then all of your information, resources or activities can be linked there. And then it's very straightforward, just drag and drop so if your group doesn't finish that particular activity or item, you can move it to, to the next week. Another way I've seen it being used is using by, used by a teacher who used it to track the practical activities that would be done in the lesson. So each bucket in the case of this example was a lesson and they were just dragging the activities backwards and forwards as the students finished them. So lots of different ways it could be used. You can also look at items that have been completed so it's quite nice, even if it's just getting that sense of achievement of what's been done or just checking whether stuff has happened. Anything that you add to Planner, so if you've got files or anything like that, you will get a folder in OneDrive where they are located. If you click onto Stats, it will tell you how many are in progress, how many are completed, how many aren't started, and it gives you a bit of a, a progress and, and a list of who the members are as well. So you've got some analytics there which would be great if you were working with a number of people and you can group by buckets assigned to progress due date or labels. So you could use those to filter exactly what it is that you're looking at. So there you have it, a really great way to organize yourself for your students. Final thing is if you want to add a task to one of your buckets you just click add task click add you can then go in as I've done already and you can edit that as you see fit so there you have it 
Microsoft Planner app for iPad. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, keep liking, keep subscribing, and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.